Hi friends, it is Aricha from Aricha RP Economy Bangalore. In this video, we are going to we are continuing the real time project that is healthcare application. We are continuing to design the bot design, designing for patient process. And if you really like this video, please subscribe it and you please refer to our friend. Thank you. Now I'm going to Object Studio. Let me create one group here. A patient system group. And then uh, now I have assigned the business object just before we have created into this group like a patient system group. Now I'm creating like one more action that is patient. data patient data input so launch the application So we can use like you know, various uh, spying modes and let me capture these uh, objects go to application modeler then okay open an application and keep it side by side it's some great opportunity in blue prism to work with like you know, both uh, application modeler and as well as application So click on add element. So identify. Now I'm using like region mode. Press alt button to switch to spying modes. Then press alt plus sorry control plus left mouse button to capture it. Now it's captured like the entire application. Now I'm capturing these objects in the form of like a regions. Okay, for this one, okay, click on region. And let me assign a name for this one, like a patient ID apply. And then create work, click on region. Repeat the same procedure for all other objects so NHS number means it's a unique uh, number just like you know, here in an other card number it's a unique number unique, unique number for patient in uh, England so apply then click on region last name apply then create the click on region first name apply then title then apply then click on ok because I'm going to uh, capture like this gender like a male and female by using like you know win 32 mode apply then ok and here you can see 
you know it captures in the form of like you know, regions then so apply then click on add element then identify and so far okay identify so I made a mistake here because they are dis you know, I captured these objects when it's like disabled so let me make like enable so delete all objects because the attributes will change Then go to okay right let me capture like you know, identify now all objects are like enabled use region mode Okay, for these two objects I'm using I'm going to use select region one so highlight okay last name and apply then click on add element identify so I'm using win32 mode assign a name like gender male hyphen male and apply then add one more element identify capture like a female like gender female apply and then let me check it once again yeah so after this element it's an uh, identifying like uh, properly and let me continue to capture like on uh, other objects too add element then identify i'm using uh, the region mode once again alt So region high 
house number so apply then capture street address and city and then create one more region like a county so apply and then passcode then click on ok and for this one i'm going to use win32 mode add element so identify And so far I captured this element. Let me check it whether it's identifying or not. And highlight it and then okay assign a name for this one. Okay, verified. Then apply. Then highlight it. Okay, if you observe here, it's identifying again two elements here. This one and as well as this one. And to make sure to fix this error and go to like you know uh, ordinal. Okay, choose an ordinal, then apply and then click on highlight. Now it's identifying like properly because the ordinal attribute is like a unique attribute and in Win32 mode. And click on OK. And again, if you observe this up, when you know elements. It's capturing like a today's date and then let me make it like a wild card to make it like a dynamic so match it and then I'm going instead of like changing it to every attribute it's better to go for like an element mask right mouse click copy element mask and paste on every element see I'm changing this one paste element mask it saves time So apply and let me check it once again uh, sometimes it may not identify the elements in an application properly so highlight it's okay So it is saying like unable to match any qu windows with query items. So it is giving us some error message, we will see what is the error.
because still it is giving some error message. Because if you observe here, I have assigned, you know, I copy, uh, I, you know, I paste the element mask on the one we captured in Win32 mode also. So it's, uh, we are not supposed to do like that. Then let me make it like uh, identify. Yes. Now click on highlight. Yeah, now it's able to identify this one. Then change, okay, highlight it and click on uh, highlight. So it's not working. And then make a okay, identify and we'll ask you like to replace this one. Yes. Then change the dynamic one into wildcard. Make it put it asterisk here. Then apply. Then check it. Now it's identifying properly and then region 1 so highlight ok delete it region 1 so highlight it ok it's in house number the next one is street address so highlight it it's working fine and the next one is city and highlight it it's also working fine next one is county so highlight it so working fine then pass sorry postcode like similar to a pin number in india or zip code in us so apply then verify it so highlight it still it's giving the same error message because uh, if you observe like we paste the element mask the one we captured some elements we captured in region mode and some cap you know some elements we captured in win mode but whereas i pasted the element mask in win32 mode also so that's why we need to change it then highlight it then identify say yes then okay and change the dynamic value here make it like a wild card click on apply then so make sure like a highlight yeah with this one again it's giving like you know, two it's highlighting like two elements and that's why like you know, we need to make sure we have to make sure select like ordinal number ordinal then apply go to like a match index and then so highlight it now it's identified the right one then click on ok and then now we are going to design the process algorithm uh, process for this one using like various uh, stages it's like a navigate stage then calculation stages decision stages so like that and okay in the next video we are going to design a process for this one and so please stay with us thank you for watching if you really like it you please subscribe it thank you